all imminent. The topic of a Category 6 hurricane is trending online. Mia Grandy with Verified Team looks into if it could ever happen. Over the last five decades, sustained wind speed is the way the National Hurricane Center classifies storms. The scale peaks at Category 5 with hurricanes that have winds of 157 miles per hour or higher. But two climate scientists say global warming is contributing to more powerful storms and the current Saffir Simpson scale should form a new Category 6 for storms with winds of 192 miles per hour. So could we see Category 6 added to the hurricane scale. The KHOU 11 Verify team turned to the National Hurricane Center, the National Weather Service, and NOAA to find out. Changes to the Saffir Simpson scale do not happen often. Since it was introduced to the public in 1973, only two changes have been adopted. The most significant happened in 2009. The National Hurricane Center eliminated pressure and storm surge ranges from the categories, making the scale based only on wind readings. Turns out 2008's hurricane Hurricane Ike was the linchpin for that change. How could any reasonable person hear a 15 to 20 foot storm surge forecast? Not evacuate a barrier island. I think what we saw is people were hung up on this Saffir Simpson scale shifting west. Jamie Rome is deputy director of the National Hurricane Center in Miami. He also heads up the National Hurricane Center storm surge unit. Speaking with KHU 11's chief meteorologist David Paul at the National Hurricane Conference, Rome echoes the climate scientist claims that storms are getting more intense. But he also says, no, the National Hurricane Center will not be adding a Category 6 to the hurricane scale because there's more danger to a hurricane than just the wind. We're also seeing a trend towards greater mortality or deaths from this inland flooding component. It used to be the storm surge was the greatest cause of direct fatality. Now it's rain and freshwater flooding if you look at the last 10 years. As a result, the National Hurricane Center is working to make more people aware they need to take action against dangerous flooding that could happen near your home.